So this Monday, I'm going to Amsterdam. Jason's going to be there already, and one of our team members, Emily, is actually going to be in Amsterdam. So it's our first international team trip where it's not just uh, the founders traveling together. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We're doing an event with Movement and Matcha. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be there for four days, maybe. I'm going to be coming back right away to LA because we have our, I guess, first official Nekohama Omakase night with uh, Chef Jesse Barber. That's going to be actually at Biscuit Lofts on March 7th. Anyway, walking katsu, drive to San Diego, and then we have a full day of drinking matcha and coffee. That to me sounds like a perfect day. Hey, you. I have no idea why I talk like that around my dog. I just realized we're about to leave. I have not fed katsu. Road trip time. So we're on the phone with Emily who is in Portugal right now. Emily, are you excited to get to Amsterdam? I'm so excited. We're gonna be vlogging obviously because it's gonna become a fun part of what we do. And uh, hopefully we'll have successfully in San Diego. About four minutes away from the first coffee shop that we're gonna be visiting, it's wholesome. We're gonna be here in San Diego all day and we're gonna be ending it with a training at Seaborn. The team there is absolutely awesome. So I'm really excited for Jason to meet them. And uh, basically just meet a few more cafes down here and see if there's uh, more room for Nekohama. Just got the wholesome, so we're gonna unpack the car, grab our matcha, and we're here for our first tasting and Jason's first time coming to a tasting in San Diego. So, inside of here, I have about 100 samples of our Oishi Berry bars so people can start trying them because we think that we should start putting them at the register in cafes. They're like these little bags here and we put small pieces of the Oishi Berry bar in here. Anyway, we've arrived at Wholesome. That was crazy. So I had to rush out of Wholesome Coffee Roasters after an amazing time with the team. They're going to hopefully start carrying Nekohama. We are on our way to another place. The name of the roaster is Kompa Coffee. So we're really excited to go check it out. We just got to Kompa Coffee Roasters here. Ugh. In a uh, shopping mall. Here we come. I just wrapped up lunch here at Kompa and now we're heading to Leap Coffee, which is about 15 to 20 minutes away from here. This place is really nice. All right, guess what? The owner just walked over and said, looks like you swayed us and they really can tell the difference in quality. So, Kompa, welcome to Nekohama. All right, now we gotta go to the next one and then Jason's gotta go to the airport. We are here. All right, so I took us to the wrong location. I'm gonna drive. I'm glad he took us to the wrong location because I always drive the wrong way on the road. So now we're even. Yes, yeah, so now Jason can, you know, give me crap for it. And we are off. Here at Leap Coffee. I feel like in a business district here. Jason's gonna wrap up his call and then join me inside in a few minutes. And uh, let's see what kind of matcha that they have. Directions are telling me that it's that way, but I actually need to go that way. I'm at Leap Coffee here, San Diego. And we're doing a little matcha tasting right now. It's a really cute spot. I really like it here. San Diego's quite a vibe. It's so much more calm than LA where things are just extremely happy. So right now I'm making a matcha using the powder that they use here. Oxidized, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to get a different container for the storage of matcha here to make sure that it uh, doesn't get exposed to sunlight and oxidize. All right, so we're trying to make the matcha hot chocolate. Looks very nice. Yeah. We just missed the perfect reaction. I am 33, so when people say things like slay or fire or lock it, I have no idea what it means. I live in LA, but I don't know what, I don't know what it's like to be though. from LA. Just packing up my bag. This tasting went really well. The team here is fantastic. I just really enjoy it when people tell me that they love matcha and then give them their first what we call third wave matcha experience, which is a little bit more mindfulness, much better quality products, and a lot more care. Jason, guess what? It must be in Leap. We are going to be here with the Leap team. So we just wrapped up all of our tastings for the day. So Cortland's gonna head home. Jason has a flight tonight at 10, so we're gonna drive up to Oceanside now. 
and uh, do a little fun training, maybe grab some food. But it's been a successful day. Yeah. Coyla, thanks for showing us around. Oh, listen, thanks for coming down to San Diego. Love it. It's the best. Anyway, we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna show you what the training looks like. It's gonna be fun because Jason's here. So, now driving a little bit more. So we started today around 7.45. We drove down to San Diego and it's been really, really eventful. We had some really successful meetings, met some amazing people. And it was a lot of fun because Jason and I don't get to spend a lot of time together. I think I talked about this in another vlog where it gets a little bit lonely. So now like when a cafe joins us and we're driving away from it, we get to celebrate together because I don't know, just so much fun knowing that more and more people are gonna be able to enjoy something that we put so much time and effort into. And we are back, Seaborn Coffee. We just arrived here at Seaborn and I just got a text from Barrett and she told me that the team's a little bit under the weather so we're just gonna be dropping off this matcha kit for them. This is what we give to our partners every time we onboard them. So we have our custom made Nekohama tea scoop and the reason that we made it longer was so that you wouldn't get matcha on your fingers. We also have our signature glass bowl right here. It's a very sturdy bowl. So we added about 100 grams more of glass to this bowl so that if somebody dropped it or put it in the dishwasher, it wouldn't break. And then we have our whisks. And we use a different style whisk. And the thing about this whisk is that uh, it just looks a lot nicer. So we're here inside of Seaborn right now. And we just dropped off kid here. They just closed because they closed around 4 o'clock and uh, they, we have a long drive back to LA in traffic so we get a little bit of caffeine and uh, enjoy a nice chai in the drive home. Alright, so today was a long one. It was a fun eventful day. First day vlogging with Jason with me which was awesome and you know we met a lot of great people and we'll have more matcha here in san diego so our goal is to start finding more partners up and down the coast of california so no matter where you are in california whether it's la san diego santa barbara or even san francisco you'll be able to find nekohama pretty easily anyway if you like today's video give it a thumbs up share it with some friends tell your friends about nekohama and uh, let us know what you thought about uh, the video in the comments great to spend the day with y'all ciao